why aren't we running something that is currently not on the media plan? I've worked in advertising for 20 years and one of the most common questions is, why aren't we running on X channel? Why aren't we running Twitter ads or YouTube ads or TikTok ads or digital out of home or bus shelters or bus benches? If you have an advertising budget, if you have $2,000 a month or $2 million a month, you will be inundated with sellers trying to sell you their ad inventory. There are media sellers always coming at you and you never really know what the right decision is. And the underlying assumption is that these people have your best intentions in mind and they're gonna to come to you with a very compelling case, but all they wanna do is sell you advertising so they can make a bonus. On top of all that, you might feel pressure to say yes to them in the moment, or you might be quizzed by your bosses or your peers why you're not buying this other advertising space because no one in the room has the 20 years of advertising experience to have a justifiable answer about why that's not a good place to run advertising. You don't have to do this alone. You don't have to be the expert in the room. What you do need is an agency that will be your backup. And by the way, the answer to that question, why aren't we running on these other channels? It all comes down to strategy. You have to answer one question. Is that channel part of our strategy? If the answer is no, then it shouldn't be on the media plan. And that's what we do for our clients. We provide the backup, the confidence, the expertise, so you never have to worry about how you're investing your paid media so that you can feel comfortable your business is growing and that it has a strategic plan that's been vetted by both your team and our team of experts to grow your business. You need leads and sales, not salespeople trying to take advantage of you.